type of uh, weapons, they really prepared them to fight against the men of the Lord and the angels, which the Lord gonna put angels to protect the men of the Lord as well, all right? But all that's created to destroy you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's why I said the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with them that keep the commandments and had a testimony of the Lord, which is the prophecy. So they're going to come for the prophets, man. Yep. Hey, don't think it's strange when you say lions and stuff like that. You had somebody that had in their apartment, I forgot what it was, what city and stuff. Remember that? Yeah. He had, he got arrested and stuff like that, and the day, lions or something got loose. Oh, that was in uh, up there in Ohio. Yeah, so don't th think it's strange, man. These crackers that got money and stuff like that, they have exotic animals, man. Yeah, for pets. For pets. And they even got certain laws that, in certain states that protect those people that have those animals. They got lions, tigers, and bears, and Bengal tigers, and gorillas, apes, chimpanzees. Yep. All right, they have these type of animals here in America, and I ain't talking about no damn zoo. All right, these are domestic, so-called domestic pets for many Americans. So when all hell break loose or that famine happens, all right, a lot of them animals, is, if they master ain't feeding them, they gonna break loose and they gonna come hunting for you people. All right, thus saith the Lord. That's in the scriptures. The dogs to tear and the fowls of heaven and the beasts of the earth to the devour and to destroy. That's fine, you can go back to that. And that's the reality that's coming, man. Second Esther chapter 16, verse 31. Yeah. Even so in those days, there shall be three or four left by them that search their houses with the sword. They show you that in movies like I Am Legend, Red Dawn. I haven't seen the recent one, but I seen the old one. That's what they did. Uh, uh, the road, keep reading. Fantasia. Fantasia, the crazies. All right, keep reading. And the earth shall be laid waste, and the fields thereof shall wax old, and her ways and all her paths shall grow full of thorns. Yeah. Because no man shall travel there through. The virgins shall mourn having no bridegroom, the women shall mourn having no husbands. Yeah, because a lot of these men are going to become like women. Yep. And they are like women already because they they in that soft feminine spirit yep. metrosexuals and 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 bowing down and that's a slave mentality man a man is superior to a woman a woman is inferior man on all levels they can't stand up and pee okay they bleed we don't bleed diseases actually uh uh they're more susceptible to catch diseases than men because their body is uh like acidic where diseases and, and viruses can be very active and multiply and grow, all right? So it's these nasty women out here that's gonna be in, in dire straits because they weak ass husbands or they weak ass effeminate boyfriends is gonna get put to death out here. That's right, the scriptures is gonna say that. It's an off to uh, the draft. That's right. Their daughters shall mourn having no helpers. Yeah, oh, so, so all these proud, proud, proud females that's out here that always they they give you no time if they really understood they have that the favor is in our in our in our the man's uh stand all right he can choose any woman he want okay and you women outnumber us you would get your ass in order you try to step your game up but you bitches are so damn proud you're gonna be you're gonna be dying to have a man a real man out here not no faggoty ass uh, 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 14th Street Israelite clown that, that think he's uh, the Incredible Hulk wearing muscle shirts with V-necks, man. And all these bright ass colors. Niggas like that gonna get snuffed out, man. Quickly. Keep reading. And the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed. Yup. So, so in the wars, the race wars, the third world war, these conflicts, your husband's gonna be put to death. Your sons and your fathers are gonna get put to death. Your nephews are gonna get put to death, all right? And many of them ain't ready, man. They just gonna get snuffed out, man. All right, either by they, by they, uh, by by one of these other nations, all right, or by the government, or by these other armies when they go to make war with them. Keep reading. And their husbands shall perish of famine. A famine, all right, because they don't want to go go get it, okay? They gonna die out here. Keep reading. And 
understand them, you servants of the Lord. Yeah, you children of Israel, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You're supposed to understand these things. That's why we come out here and give you the heads up before the shit hits the fan. But y'all don't want to take heed. All right? But that's cool. That's cool, because we're, we're not, we're not going to have your blood on our hands like clowns like Zabak, uh, Nathaniel's Levin, all right? Uh, what's that clown? 14th Street Israelite, all right? They don't want to, that, that they don't, don't want to do the work, doing the work deceitfully, or don't want to tell you the name, because you're going to have to have that name and believe in that name to be saved in these days to come. Key reading. Behold, the world... Behold, the word of the Lord yeah, receives us. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord spake. Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. That's right, the plagues, death, the sword, famine, fire, poverty, famine, pestilence, cannibalism, race wars, economic collapse. Those are plagues, man. And they're not going to slack up. So you can scoff and mock all you want. We're going to keep throwing it in your face, man. All right? Because the Lord is with destroying this place systematically. And then finally with missiles, man. Keep reading. That's when a woman with child in the ninth month bring forth a, her son within two to three hours of her birth. Yeah. Great pains to pass her womb. Yeah, just like how a woman, when she's giving birth, she has the birth pains, they don't, the baby don't instantly come out. So we got to be patient. All right? It's the same way. So you people that keep scoffing and mocking, we just patiently waiting for the baby to be delivered. All right, which is our salvation when the Lord come back and destroy this place. Keep reading. Even so shall the plagues not be not slack to come upon the earth. That's right. The world shall mourn and the sorrow shall come upon it on every side. That's right. One people, I mean, oh my people, hear my word, make you ready to the battle, and in those evils be ye. Be ye even as pilgrims upon the earth. And we always say that's twofold, okay? One, like a pilgrim constantly moving, his, their, their mind is not geared on that place that they was previously at. So your mind, your mind ain't supposed to be into this society. Your mind should be looking towards for the kingdom. That's having a pilgrim mindset. And when all hell break loose, if the Lord puts the spirit on you, all right, or guides you to move, you gotta move, man. Alright? Keep reading. He that selleth, let him that, as he that fleeth away. Yep. And he that buyeth, as one that will lose. Yeah, so all you people buying, mainly you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, because you're the largest consumers here in America, all right, because you niggas love stunting. I mean, that's in your spirit, because you're royalty, all right, because we are Israelites. But this ain't the time to be stunting, man. This ain't the time to be buying the 2013 latest ride, because that shit going to get snatched, all right? But that's how a simple-minded Jake would think, man. The Lord said you're going to lose that. Keep reading. He that occupy merchandise, as he that have no profit by it. Yep. And he that buildeth, as he that shall not dwell therein. He that soweth, as he, if he shall not reap. So also he that planted the vineyard, as he that shall not gather the grapes. They that, they that marry, as, as they that shall get no children yep and they that marry not as widows yeah because those that marry they husband gonna get put to death or they can't afford to uh to even establish families which that's brought out that was brought out in the news a lot of people choosing just to not get married or if that's why i say if, if they uh if they widows if, if they single it's like they widows they they mourn it because they can't have no family that's America, and that's the, that's gonna be more of these times. Especially for you niggas that like hunting down pussy. That's your whole mindset, man. Lord gonna x you niggas out, man. Keep reading. And therefore, they that labor labor in vain. Yeah, yeah. So all this, all this. Oh, I got five jobs. You know, niggas really got like some of them Iscarites, you Mexicans, y'all crazy, man. You actually bugged out. You doing like three or four or five jobs every day, not having a day off. You gonna kill yourself, man. West Indians do that too, man. Alright? For strangers shall reap their fruits uh -huh. and spoil their goods, overthrow their houses and take their children captive. For in captivity and famine shall they get children. And they that